Akala ko po ay magiging pari si Father Dan two years ago pa. Kasi kasama siya sa pioneer batch ng Mary Help of Christians Theology Seminary. Akala ko maorday na siya noong July. Akala ko rin magiging August. At akala ko October na talagang talaga. At akala ko mapopospo na naman kahapon. Pero kahapon, nagsalita ang Diyos at sinabi sa ating lahat, bago pa nilikha ang langit at lupa, bago pa nilikha ang dagat, ang bundok at mga bituin, bago pa nilikha ang unang lalaki at babae, kahapon sabi sa atin ng Diyos, alam ko na yan. November 17, 2020, magiging pari si Dan Soriano. Hindi ibang araw, hindi ibang taon, hindi dalawang taon na ang nakakalipas, hindi sa susunod na taon, hindi bukas, kundi kahapon. Hindi yun guhit ng palad, yon ay kalooban ng Diyos. So what happened yesterday, was simply God's plan. There were others, healthcare workers, civil authorities, who were recommending that we postpone. But we stood our ground in obedience to the Lord, and Father Dan was ordained a priest yesterday. And how do you describe an event like that? I have only one word. Mystery. Mystery. How did we reach November 17 and not July, not August, not October, but November 17? How did we reach the Church of Padre Pio and not the Cathedral or anywhere else? It is all a mystery. The call of Dan to be a priest is a mystery. It is a mystery because God, who is almighty and all holy, calls men who are weak and who are defective to represent Him. It is a mystery because God chooses men who are exactly His opposite to represent Him here on earth. There are angels holier than Dan. There are men more mature than Dan. But why him? It is a mystery. And Father Dan, since yesterday until your last breath, you're going to hold the mysteries of God in your hands. Your hands can never be clean enough to handle the mysteries of God. Our hands will always remain dirty and soiled and tainted by sin. But every day, you will hold the holy body of the Lord. Every day, your lips will drink from the chalice of the Lord. Every day, you will speak the word of God to God's people. You will handle the mystery of God's love. And that call will always be a mystery for us. Too much to comprehend. As we taught you in the seminary, the priest will not be able to completely understand how much God loves him. Because if the priest would understand how much God loves him, he would die on the spot. Because his heart is too small, his body is too small, his understanding is too little to comprehend the mystery of God's love for him. Unfortunately, to the parents of Father Dan, unfortunately, it is not his, only his calling that is a mystery. Suffering will also be a mystery. And mama at papa, walang bawian. Kapag nakita ninyong nahihirapan ang anak ninyo, 
sabihin lang ninyo sa inyong sarili, pinili siya ng Diyos para dyan. When God called Dan to follow Him, it was not a call to follow Him in the glorious mysteries of Galilee. It was a call to follow Him from the agony in the garden to the crucifixion. And pain will always be a mystery. The cross will always be a mystery. And the sufferings in the lives of priests will always be a mystery. Sometimes that suffering can come from within the church, from his own brother priests, and even from us bishops. Sometimes the pain and the cross can come from the same parishioners for whom he is willing to die. Sometimes that cross will come from the same church, from the same community, from the same friends. Sometimes that cross, that pain can also come from himself because he knows that he is a sign of contradiction, that he is struggling with so many faults, that he needs to be healed with so many sins, that he has secret skeletons in the closet known only to God, and those will cause sufferings. Santa Teresa de Avila was tempted by the devil. At ang demonyo, nagpakita kay Teresa, hindi bilang isang demonyong may sungay, maitim at pangit at may buntot. Nagpakita ang demonyo kay Santa Teresa, kamukha ni Jesus. Para siya lukohin. Subalit pagkatapos lamang ng ilang minuto, sabi ni Teresa sa demonyo, Hindi ikaw si Jesus. Sabi ng demonyo, Ang galing. Paano mo nalaman? Sabi ni Teresa, Si Jesus may sugat. Wala kang sugat. Hindi ikaw si Jesus. Christ has wounds. You have no wounds. You are not Christ. Christ has wounds. And the priest must have wounds to prove that he is a priest. It is not the wounds of sin, but it is the wounds of service. It is the wounds of prayer. It is the wounds coming from love. Love will wound us. Service of others will wound us. We are bound to get wounded. But then, if you get wounded loving the Lord, if you get wounded loving the church, if you get wounded loving your brother priests, do not ask the Lord to set you free from those wounds. Like Padre Pio, let them bleed for the rest of your life. Because if God called you to follow Him, God also called you to bleed your wounds for Him from now on until you die. Christ has wounds. The priest must have wounds. Wounds because of love. And without those wounds, you're a devil. Without those wounds, you are Satan. Without those wounds, you are not a priest. You are God's enemy. But it is not only pain and suffering that is a mystery. My dear Dan, your whole life will be a mystery. The love of God for you will always be a mystery. Don't ask, why am I a priest? Because if you're able to answer it, the answer will always be wrong. Why are you a priest? 
There is only one answer, if you may call it an answer, all because of the mercy of God. And that mercy will always be a mystery. Returning to Santa Teresa, one morning she came down from the cloister and saw a little boy playing inside the convent. She was surprised. Why is there a child inside the convent of sisters? So she smiled at the child, at the boy, and said to the boy, Buenos dias. I am Teresa de Jesus. What is your name? And the boy said to Teresa, Buenos dias. I am Jesus de Teresa. I am Teresa of Jesus. And I am Jesus of Teresa. Yesterday, prostrated on the altar, you proclaimed without saying it, I am Dan Philip of Jesus. On the same moment, a voice was heard, and then the voice said, I am Jesus of Dan Philip. Dan has chosen to belong to me and I have chosen to belong to him. Then, you will hold the Lord like an earthen vessel. Take care of it. You will hold the Lord in your human weakness. Be careful. Life will always be a mystery, too much to comprehend. When we see you, Father Dan, may we see the face of Christ mysteriously showing His face to us through you.